of the feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into CJ So Cool exposed for doing something bad to Roy. I don't know. Let's get it. After CJ So Cool decided to throw some shots at CJ on 32s. I've been seeing a lot. I've seen y'all bringing up CJ on 32s. I don't care about that, man. I'm the one put that man on, man. So him dissing me for clouding the video does not affect me in any way. It just doesn't. Like, come on, man. I met you. You worked at a car shop. You were changing tires for a living. I put you on. I gave you the sauce. I promoted you. I shouted you out. I let you be in my circle. I blew you up. And now you're successful. I'm happy for you. So Damn. dissing me just makes me laugh. Literally. It literally makes me laugh. When I see the comments saying, CJ 32 checked you, bro. You need to apologize to him. I need to apologize to him. The freak is y'all? So then CJ on 32s came back and responded to CJ with you didn't even start YouTube. Your brother did and royalty and the kids are the reason why you became rich. Which is true. So Jinx started the YouTube. Jinx put you on his platform and Jinx is really the man. So Jinx made you the things that made you get money was when you met royalty and the kids. You might have started up everything, but without them kids, my boy, my nigga, it's showing now. Do I got to say it? Without them kids, my nigga, you want to talk about putting on? Royalty and her kids put you on. You ain't do that shit by yourself, nigga. Facts. I did my shit by myself. This CJ on 32's channel. I ain't use no family, no kids, no none of that shit. I use my talent, nigga. And I stuck with what I was doing. I always showed you love and respect, nigga. I, even when you talk bad about me, I never disrespect you at all. But you a lame. You a goofy, bro. And you know that. Now, CJ on 32s did a lot of exposing on Instagram. <sighs> I just, I just, a call from the family. You want to talk about what you was doing to Jalea or nah. She's just so cool. Out, out of respect uh, for the family, we ain't going to talk about your little secret, you lame ass nigga. As soon as I get back to Texas, I'm going to Ice Champ and buy all your jewelry you pawned and I'm doing a giveaway. Oh, yeah. He first at CJ and states, I just got a call from the family. You want to talk about I swear you pawn and I'm doing a giveaway on it. So now, according to CJ So Cool, allegedly something was told to him by the family. Now, I'm assuming the family is royalty now allegedly something happened between cj and jalea that's a secret that cj on 32s is threatening to expose now i'm wondering if this is the same secret that royalty keeps stating that she has on cj that could ruin his whole career now cj what did he do i was at this point, we want to know. 32s did quickly delete this post about Jalea. He only had it up for about eight to 10 minutes before he took it down. So I'm not actually sure what went on here, but it doesn't sound good. Now, CJ also was trying to recruit Lexi because he adds her and states at Living by Lexi, come join the winning team. It's a drought over there, baby. 32 game. Now, CJ on 32s also exposed some things that CJ So Cool told him about d -Lo. You said a lot of, of shit about a lot of people, my boy. d -Lo, where you at, man? Your right hand man. Every day. You know what this fool told me, D-Lo? <laughs> D-Lo. <laughs> this motherfucker said you stole 120000 from him, gay. He said that's why he fired you, because you stole $120,000 from him. How he stole $120,000 and CJ ain't say nothing? To my knowledge, I know he used to give you money to gamble for him, because you used to win. And the gamble is either you're going to win or you're going to lose. So D-Lo, where you at, man? Just like Bake, man, it's time you niggas speak up. Stop being silent. Stop letting this man shit on y'all. He ain't above y'all. He might have won and said he didn't. Seemed like D-Lo been straight ever since. It's crazy. So then D-Lo responds with, stole 120K is crazy. You know me and no, I ain't doing that. Dude just want attention because that 3 million still got to be paid. Yep. That he borrowed. 
God damn. So now you guys leave your opinions on all this down in the comment section below. But let's move on to this next. You better get that money on Snapchat. Topic with DDG and Hallie. Now you Why guys are we still know talking that about they this? are I'm broken up. But DDG it is stating that he's not getting with anyone else unless he reconnects with his BM Hallie. Thinking he might have met somebody already or he's ready to start dating and he's just trying to avoid. No. Let me say that right now, y'all. I am not dating anyone. I don't have a potential girlfriend, nor do I even think about that whatsoever. I don't plan on getting into another relationship at all, unless it's Hallie. That's the only way. I am not finna get a new girlfriend. I don't have the desire. I don't want multiple baby mamas. I don't want none of that. We taking a break, like I said. I'm finna go pick my son up right after this. Let me live my life. That's none of your business. But she look young, so that's tight. That's tight. Now DDG also speaks on people stating that he only got with Hallie because of the clout and the fame. I have never ever looked at Hallie and was like, oh, this is the little mermaid. I'm gonna get with her because I want to have a baby with her and this and that. This the baby stuff, Halo is just happened. It wasn't like it just happened. And then like I I had a diabolical plan to 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 have a baby with Hallie and get on. Never. What are you talking about? Why are we not talking about he was already on before that? I don't get it. I'm attracted to Hallie. We got together. We went on a great first date. We went on a great second date. We went on a great third date. Next thing you know, I've been staying at her house for 100 days. Every mm -hmm. single day. She come to my house the next day. We sleeping together every single night. Boyfriend, girlfriend, boom, pop, halo come. That's just how it be. I don't know why y'all think I had this diabolical plan, bro. Like... Y'all yeah, really think I'm just some goofy. Now, he also spoke on that whole situation with Usher trying to feed Hallie that cherry. Now, I will say that DDG did state even if they were together or not. So it appears that maybe at that concert, they may not have even been together. Like they were separated then. I knew the cherry was coming. That's what the seat was for at his concert. He done had to give away the sauce, y'all. I knew the cherry was coming. <laughs> He's so aggravated. I'm sorry. Santa Claus not real either. <laughs> I knew the cherry was coming. I don't understand Yo. why y'all keep acting. <laughs> y'all are gullible and slow. <laughs> y'all think I'm really finna sit there. Oh, cherry. What was you, what, what was I, what, as a man, what you supposed to do in a situation? Staged or not? You ain't supposed to let no man put no cherry in your girl mouth. Whether y'all together or not, whatever. You ain't, if you, if you just met a girl last week and you took her to Usher concert, he tried to put a cherry in her mouth. You gonna let it sit there? Nigga got to grab that chair. Got to grab that chair. You gonna let him put the chair? Usher don't give a fuck. It ain't like he, you know. Usher not about to kick you in the face like some of these other celebrities do. However, um, grab the chair right quick. You're not about to put this in my woman's mouth in front of all these folk. In, in front of company and shit. Usher, what the hell wrong with you? <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh-uh. <laughs> hell no. Chair in her mouth? No. I did what a real nigga would do in any situation. But I'm sorry to bust y'all bubble, but I knew about the cherry. I'm friends with Usher. Why would he do that? Why would a, why would Usher put a cherry in Hallie's mouth in front of me? Realistically. Stupid. Slow. Now it appears that Clarence and Queen may be having some problems at home. Yeah, I'm about to get up, start my day. I just want to show y'all the extreme charger outage we're having at my crib. So I might told y'all to keep everybody keeps stealing my charges and shit and like stealing each other's. It's just it's just wild. Legends taking CJ, CJ's taking mine, <laughs> Queen taking mine. Like one thing about you, mamas. Oh my God, London was having some issues in the beginning. <laughs> London has probably had more charges than I've had anything. Okay.
London lose a charger. I need to charge my phone. Honey sauce. Here go my charger. Immediately when she gives her the charger, I'm like, she's going to use mine. She's going to use mine. Because London ain't giving that fucking charger back. So now she got to use mine. So now I just have multiple everything. Multiple everything. Like it's, just, it's just getting out of hand. I'm starting to start my day. I'm, I'm trying to start my day. I'm trying to play music. Why niggas took the brick for the iPad, for the HomePod Mini? Oh that shit God. not even plugged in. I'm wondering why it's not working. That shit not even plugged in, gang. Niggas done told, stole the brick. It's a small brick. Why is this one here? Like, where's the small brick that belongs right here? This was plugged in. Niggas stole it. I ain't gonna lie, that house costs way too much to not have USB-C ports in that motherfucker. At least USB ports up in there. Oh, pod mini brick. That has to be Legend or CJ. One of them has to be. Oh, yeah. So remember earlier, I told y'all, it gotta be Legend. Gotta be, gotta be CJ. That took the charger from the HomePod Mini and used it for themselves. Oh, wait, no, I put it back. It wasn't them. Guess who it was? <laughs> gang, gang. <laughs> it's the gang, nah, gang. Not the gang, gang. Babe, you're the one that bought color stickers for everybody. Yeah, so yeah, nobody's taking any. Color stickers is a woman thing to do. Anybody's charger. I don't know where mine is. I wake up in the morning. That, the kids got yours. That's gone, right? And my charger with the green circle connected to the extension cord is on your side. Well, I gotta look in the car. So you took my charger. My both my phones are dead. So while I was asleep yesterday, you took both my you took my charger and charged that. your phone. No, I didn't. Your phone was connected to it. Uh huh. Well, they rich as hell. I just have buy a whole bunch of shit. I had to wake up, you know? So what happened? It to, do cost a lot, though. Let's just keep though. everybody's charge. Like, no, I don't know what happened. I got to look in the car. It's like an unnecessary-ass buy. You know what I'm saying? That nobody wants to pay for. I didn't feel like going out late. You want me to go out late at night in the car? You want me to do that? Yeah, see? You want me to go out late. <laughs> yo, you see how, yo, bro. Girls always trying to flip shit. I'm just saying, you're the one main one that tried to say. All right, y'all. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, y'all.